A new book promises unprecedented access to the world's largest social media company. That would be Facebook, of course. And the book is called Facebook, The Inside Story. Author Stephen Levy interviewed more than 300 people, including Mark Zuckerberg, nine times. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook. Levy also obtained portions of Zuckerberg's early notebooks, and his book details Facebook's beginning and recent controversies, including the Russian election interference and Cambridge Analytica's access to user data. In a statement, a Facebook spokesperson said, quote, this book talks about our past. Our focus now is on continuing to deliver the changes we've said we will make. Stephen Levy is also editor-at-large of Wired magazine. He joins us now. Welcome. Good Thank morning. you. It's my pleasure to be here. So uh, let's start with Russian election interference, because a lot of people are thinking about that today with the, the latest intelligence briefing. Um, did Facebook do enough in 2016? Sounds like no. Uh, but are they ready now for 2020, since it looks like here we go again? Right. You're absolutely correct. They didn't do enough in 2016. And this is something that uh, they weren't looking for. They were looking for interference of a different kind. They were looking for people to hack into someone's account and pretend yeah. to be them. What they didn't understand was that they were going to be the victim of a big campaign by Russia, a disinformation campaign. Yeah. And you know, fake news in general was something that they didn't want to act against in the 2016 campaign. I talk about this a lot in the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, they realize now, wow, this was a big mistake, and they're trying to make up for it. How do they make up for it? Well, they've done a lot of things to fight 2016's war. So the way the Russians came in, they, they bought their ads with rubles, for instance. And now I don't think Pretty Russians... Pretty big giveaway there. Yeah. The <laughs> Russians aren't going to buy ads with rubles this year. Yeah. What they're trying to do is now go inside the United States and do the same things from, you know, the accounts of American citizens. And this is something that's going to be tougher for Facebook because Facebook doesn't stop authentic accounts from saying fake things. So let, let's talk about the bigger revelations in the book, because Facebook is really like another continent out there. It's billions of people on it. It's like a the biggest digital, country on Earth. Exactly. It's like a, a digital shadow country. Um, what, what are the biggest things that we don't already know about it that you found re researching this book? Well, it, it, the history of Facebook really is this push and pull between making the world a better place and sharing and relentlessly growing. And, you know, uh, it was started very famously in a dorm room in 2004 and very quickly became something that went from colleges to the world. And you mentioned those notebooks. Uh, I met Mark in 2006, and, you know, he hardly can get a sentence out. He was so unaccustomed to talking to the press. Yeah. But what I learned was that in his notebooks that he kept, he was very ambitiously sketching out a vision where everyone in the world would have Facebook. Facebook would have information about everyone, and he was even grappling with privacy. There was one sentence in there that really stood out, and he said, well, what makes this seem secure, even if it isn't? Yeah. You actually got your hands on uh, something like 17 pages of those right. notebooks, which he, he destroyed. Yes. How did you get the copies? Yeah, well, he destroyed the notebooks because he was really upset that things from his youth had come out in instant messages that, that were damaging. Uh, so anyone who might have seen some copies, because sometimes he was known to Xerox pages, uh, I let them know, hey, I wouldn't mind if some of these pages arrived at my home, maybe with even not a return address in the envelope. Right. And that's kind of happened one day. What was the most striking thing you saw in them? I think the, the vision that he was painting and how, how he was in this flow. This was, you know, a brilliant young man who was creating something with an amazing vision that came true. Is this a utopian story or a dystopian story, the rise of Facebook? It's almost like an Icarus story. Uh, uh, you know, it, it is a, a classic tale of where things start with such promise and, and every, everything seems is going perfect, and then things go wrong. Now, in some cases, things are going very right for Facebook. They're a wildly profitable company. You said $600 billion, yeah. but its reputation is taking quite a terrible tumble. Yeah. All right. Well, I have a feeling there could be a book, too, in another yeah. 15 years. <laughs> as, uh, this if not sooner. Can, yeah. <laughs> Stephen Levy, thank you very much. My pleasure. being here. Facebook, the inside story, goes on sale Tuesday.